Okay, so this is the second part of the WordPress installation video of Convey This Plugin. And to give you the reminder that in the first part we just included and activated this simple widget and added to the French language without any further customization. And in this video, um, I will show you how to change the location of the widget and how to modify flags and do some interesting uh, things with it. So if you're interested, let's continue watching. So, in order to start the customization of this widget, go to your dashboard. By this time, you should know how to log in there. Watch our previous tutorials. Uh, go into Installed Plugins section and locate the Convey This plugin. Uh, click on the settings once you're able to locate it. In the settings, in the last video we just included these three things, but uh, in this episode we will click on the link which uh, says Show More Options and I will explain you a couple of uh, ideas and concepts behind this uh, ad more advanced options which can further uh, customize your plugin and make it uh, really uh, uh, worthy for your website and with free plan it makes it really really great product so first option is the SEO option it's uh, there's a checkbox by default it uh, says hreflang tags. Do you want it to be included or not? This is the option which makes uh, it Google friendly. When a search spider comes to your website and starts indexing the new uh, web pages that the plugin creates in foreign language, uh, it adds the special URL and a special uh, SEO tag which uh, tells Google that this is we're using a special locale, uh, locale or locale. Uh, if it's French language, that locale will be France, and therefore it will be uh, serving its purpose of the uh, uh, geo-targeting uh, uh, search results. So we would recommend to keep this uh, checkbox on. The next interesting feature is the accept language visit, uh, visitor redirection. This is, if you enable this checkbox, uh, the plugin would uh, redirect the visitors to your translated versions. For example, uh, the plugin looks at the visitors' browsers. If the visitors' browsers have um, default language installed and mentioned other than English, let's say French, right? French is their first language. Uh, the plugin would read that and would redirect them to the French version from the start. So it's a great uh, feature because if you're in an in a e-commerce world and you want to make more conversions from your traffic, if you keep this feature enabled, visitors will be redirected to the, to the uh, new, uh, new translated page. Uh, there are more options such as uh, languages in the select box. You can disable this and the languages will not be selected, only, f only flags. Languages in the menu. You can be using the language in the menu. So if you are using languages in the menu, you can deselect this so you, you will only have one widget in one place in the menu, in, in the navigation. If you keep this on, that means you'll have two widgets, but I'll show you how, how exactly that looks later. Continue watching this, this tutorial. Uh, next uh, feature is the picture. Do you want to be a picture of the rectangular flag, of the square flag, circle flag, or even without flags? If you're, if you're targeting visitors where language is spoken more than one country, right, to, make, to avoid the confusion, you can just remove the flag and just list it as the language. You can use full text, short text, or without text. That would look weird, right? Without text, but you could do it. 
Let's keep it short text and uh, circle flag for this example. At uh, position of the widget, it could be on top of the page or bottom of the page. Sometimes your blog or your web store has the online chat enabled, which takes up the space on the right uh, bottom corner. So you might move it, uh, the language widget to the top to make it uh, in a less cluttered space. Next option is the indenting. Uh, by default, it's zero pixels from, from the border of the browser, but you can make it, let's say, 297 pixels uh, from the border. That means it would float somewhere in the middle of the, of the, of the browser. So again, if the, you have some overlapping elements which are static on the page and do not disappear with the scroll of, of the page, you can play around with it and the widget will be moving from bottom to the top. Okay, so let's leave it at two pixels. Next customization options is you can uh, change the flags. For example, if you're uh, living in a northern, uh, uh, if you're targeting uh, customers in Northern America, you want, to, you want to, to change the flag from British, which is by default, to United States. Type in United States and select USA flag. Also, if you want to uh, change the French flag in this example, and I'm targeting uh, parts of Canada, the Quebec, Quebecois dialect of French, I can use English and French with different flags, local. And the final option is the block pages. Uh, some, uh, some elements of your, of your website uh, might be omitted and uh, not uh, required to be translated. So here you can add, copy and paste line by line the URLs which you would like to skip and that's it. Add URL that you want to exclude from translations. I'm not sure is it one URL or many URLs. Uh, this is a new feature so I need to double check how, how that would look like. And then once you're done all the all, making all the changes, go and press Save Changes. Okay, so it gave me the error, which is the uh, API error, visitor language redirection exceeded. Please upgrade your plan. Okay, so what essentially uh, it, it tells me is that this checkbox is available only for the premium plans, which start at, at only uh, $5 per month. Um, but you can, still, you can still use it, the widget as is. So let me deselect this, press again, save changes. It's taken, it's saving. Okay, so it says settings saved and the widget looks like this. So I did customization in this video. Now I have a different widget. So let's go to the, uh, to the main page, to the index page of this test website and look at the widget where it appears. Now the widget appears on the top of the page. Let's confirm if, it's that, if that's correct. Let's go back to the, to the dashboard the dashboard. Go to your, sec to your plugins section and search for convey this and click on settings. Click on show more options and in the sections position we selected the right top. So yes it's on the top. Let's change it to the right bottom press save changes and after it saves uh, it will go to to the bottom of the page yes it is to, at the bottom of the page okay but uh, you might ask what if um, what if, if I don't want my 
widget to be f sticking to, uh, to the browser, I want it to appear, let's say, in my menu. My menu looks like this. I'm hovering the mouse over it. And I want the language switcher to appear there. Can I do it? The answer is absolutely yes. If you have a WordPress, the WordPress plugin of Canvas allows us to do that. So in order to do that, go back to your, to your plugin settings. Click on settings. Click on show more options. And here you have to look at the languages in menu. Uh, line, it says, you can place the button in the menu area. Go to Appearance Menus and drag and drop the Convey This Translate custom link where you want. So if I click on this link, would something happen? Yes, it, temp it, gives, uh, it sends me to the Menus section. If you don't click this link and you want to go by yourself, you need to click on Appearance and then select uh, menus. You'll be landed on this page. Here on the bottom of the of the list you have a short code. It says convey this and you need to click on select all because you want both languages to appear in the menu and click on add to menu. Okay so that that now appeared in the menu. If you click Save Menu and go to your website, it would look something like this. So it, it included two buttons. Since th th there is a search box, it sort of overlaps with, uh, with my navigation, but the, you need to uh, talk to your webmaster because this is the theme it actually is not is not elastic, right? So it has long buttons, and those buttons really stretch too much to the to the right. So go back to your to your section, and you can actually uh, move these things. Let's say, for example, I want to move it in the beginning of the menu. So I can use put the buttons like this: English first, French second. Click on Save Menu, let it save, and then go back to the main page and, and test how that looks like. Now the buttons moved over here. And remember I told you about the checkbox which can show both the switcher and in the navigation. They can both appear at the same time, but you can, you can actually dis, uh, make this one disappear. So now let's... Uh, Let's do, do it in the, in, in the following way. I want to hide French under English. So in order to do that, I need to, they are all right now listed on one line, but in WordPress, if you slightly drag it to the right, that, that would tell WordPress that the French is now a sub-item of English. Click Save Menu, and let's check how that looks like. Now French disappeared and my menu is not really stretching too far on the second line. And if I click or hover mouse over, over the navigation, it opens up French, nicely integrated into the menu. Now the final step, I want to, this switcher to be disappearing from the, from the uh, eyesight. So now let's go back to the uh, plugin settings section. Final, final tweak. Uh, convey this settings. Show more options. And uh, remove the checkbox under languages in select box. Click on save changes. And let's go to the live version. 
All right, so the live version is now updated as and as you can see, we still have the French version in the in the menu and the switcher has disappeared from the bottom right corner. Let's check the French version. Let's click. You see it creates the lacuna.com slash fr new a new web page. I click on French and my French version looks like French. I don't speak French. I cannot check the accuracy, but this is the machine translation. And in the next tutorial, I will show you how you can bring a bilingual person or hire a, uh, a professional translator who can uh, proofread your French version and make it really um, human readable, okay? So thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.